Hello everyone. This is the last video of five part series inventory management system. In the previous four videos, I have provided the introduction about this inventory management system as well as deployed Azure blob storage account, function app, SQL database, key vault and logic app and end to end workflow from uploading the CSV file to the notification to the user. It's working fine. And if you haven't checked those videos, I would highly recommend to check those first and then come back to this video. And for others, we are going to create Python flask web application in this video where we'll, which we'll integrate to SQL database and check the inventory portal, how we can fetch the details from the SQL database. Let's start with the step-by-step -step deployment lab. Let's open an empty folder in visual studio code for writing the web app. Select the required folder inventory portal. And as always, whenever we are deploying anything related to Python, we need to activate the virtual environment. So new terminal, Python, open M virtual environment. This will create a folder. Now let's enable the virtual environment, V environment scripts. Activate. So virtual environment is activated now. So now for web app, we need to create a certain folder structure. So let's first create a new file app.py, which will be our main Python file. It's an empty file for now. Another one will be requirements.txt. Here all the required packages will be provided. Let's create a folder templates and in this template folder index.html will be created which will be our web page and another important file is proc file sorry not here select here and a proc file will be created. So let's start with index.html. I'll copy the code because I'm not a developer. However, I've created a basic portal which will fulfill our requirements. So this is index.html where the name is my custom flask application, which is inventory search. And there are two tabs, one for the search where we can do the inventory search and another one for the product list. Product list will list everything all the different schemas are defined and inventory search you have to provide the product id here so let's save this now i'll copy the app.py the python file so it's importing a lot of libraries logging and the different libraries because it's using the flask but these are used for making the database connection as you can see these are the database configs, which you have to define in the environment variables, which I'll quickly define. It will create a database connection and then get all the details from there. So let's quickly go to Azure portal and provide these details. First go to database, SQL database. And get the connection string from there. Connection string ODBC. And before that, let's create the web app. So we have to go to app services. In app services, create a web app. You can even do the same using the VS code, but let's deploy the web app here. And then we'll deploy using the VS code. I'll use the same resource group, RG project. Web app name will be inventory portal 01 and the runtime stack I'm going to use is Python region will be Australia East and let's go for basic plan and it will create a Linux plan for me. I'm not deploying any new database. We'll just connect it using the code itself and nothing else. So 
और रिव्यू एंड क्रिएट एंड क्रिएट So timing. Let's create other files. So let's save this app. dot py file in a proc file. It will be GUI web GUI. Let's save this. And because I have tested this, these and these are the different required versions of the files which are required, like Python ODBC, Python dot environment, SQL Alchemy for SQL connection. So let's save this. And one last file which I want to create is dot environment. dot env. And this is similar to Azure Functions local app settings. So in, because now we will be defining the SQL connection into Azure portal in the environment variables, but we'll define it here also so that we can run our app locally. DB server. DB name. I'm providing the username and password to let's see if our app is deployed. Yes, it's deployed. Let's wait for the status to reflect. And timing, we can copy these value from here. So this is the server name and the database name is inventory database. save it here using pip let's install all the dependencies requirements.txt once all the dependencies are installed we can run this locally too all the dependencies are installed now as you can see here successfully installed now let's run the flask application here. Flask run. And perfect, it's running. Let's quickly check if we are getting the desired result. And we are getting the inventory search. So when you click on show all, all products, it's providing all the products. And if we want to specifically look for one product, just provide it here and search and it'll just show you that product. That's perfect. Now it's running locally, but it's connected to the SQL database. Next step is we have to deploy this application into web app. So let's go back to our VS code. And here we have defined everything in the .env, but this will not be moved to Azure web app. So we have to define these values in the environment variables. Let's go back, close this. Web app is created. Let's browse. Let's go to settings, environment variables and start creating all the environment variables. I'll copy it from here. DB server. another one db name username which is sql admin and the db password. It's not recommended to use the password in the environment variables. So you can use as your key vault secrets and then get those secrets into their web app. So this is created now.
and there is an extension with the name Azure App Service which needs to be installed. So I have already installed it. So once this will be done, when you'll go to Azure tab or Azure extension, you will see all the resources here. So this is the subscription. And if you'll go in app services, you will see your app here. Right click on it and deploy to web app. This is the folder which we have to select. Yes, this is the folder where we have created. Yes. And then overwrite. The same way like Azure functions work. First, it will do the cleanup, install all the dependencies and finally deploy the package into Azure web app or Azure app service. As you can see, it's zipping the package. So it will be done soon and it will go back to our web app. It will be visible soon. Let's try again. And this time it's successful. I don't know what was the issue there, but it's successful now. Let's go back to our web app. Refresh from here and copy this link. Open in new incognito window. And perfect, our inventory search portal is working. So show all the products and it's showing all the eight products. If you want to search anything specific, you can do it and it will search one. So now our web app is pulling the latest information from SQL database. So let's try the whole pipeline again. Let's make some changes. Nine and 10. See, I'm not changing anything else. So let's save it as a CSV file. Let's name it as two. Save. Now let's go back to our portal and go to storage account. Container data container, upload a new CSV. New CSV too. Before uploading, let's me open the function app. I'll open the function and activate the logs so that we can see if everything is working as expected. Though it should be because we have just tested, but still. It's connected now. And let's upload the file. There should be two records updated now. So let's check. It's getting the secrets. And all done. Only two records, product IDs nine and 10 and notification is also sent successfully. Let me quickly check the logic app and see the triggers. And the trigger history, let's make it a bit smaller and there are showing two runs here. This is the time right now and it just ran. And I have received the email too. As you can see, 1253, new inventory is updated. That's perfect. So our end-to-end -end workflow is working. Now let's go back to our web app. And copy the link. Perfect. 
now it should show the 10 products and this is what is expected and if you want to search for one you can just go here and search that's perfect so our inventory management project is working end to end so whenever we upload a csv file a blob trigger happens which triggers the python function app and it fetches the credentials from uh, the key vault and then make changes into the SQL database. Then send a HTTP POST request which sends the notification to the user. Then users connect to inventory portal or just open it in browser and it fetches the details from the SQL database. So this was all for this project. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.